Hey all, it's Vintage Vinny, and welcome to another video. I don't have a haul for you today, but I thought it would be fun to show you all my Vintage Salt and Pepper Shaker collection. Because I made the decision not to go thrifting in January, uh, mainly because the last time I went, the stores were pretty dry, so I decided let me go ahead and give them a month and just get some donations in, and it'll be a much better trip and worth my time, energy, and gas. So next week starts February, so I will be getting back into a normal thrifting and antiquing routine. So I am excited about that. Tomorrow is Friday the 29th, and I have off, so what I will be doing is spending the day listing a bunch of stuff. I just took a bunch of items down from eBay and sent them to donation just because I didn't want to look at them anymore. I had them too long, they just weren't moving, so went ahead and was really thrilled to get rid of all that stuff. But without further ado, let's go ahead and start the collection, because uh, Screencast-O-Matic, if you don't have the full version, you only have 15 minutes of free screen recording. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start off with three sets. This is a really cool set. These are the Skull Nodder. Is that going to focus for you? Oh, there we go. They nod when you, uh, yeah, see, they nod like that. I got these at an antique shop, and I really like the, uh, the base that they're on, the bubbles on the pink. I think that's super, super cool. And I think those were about $4 and change. They came from a booth that was 20% off. Now these, again, are another really cool find. They're these little ice chests. They have General Electric on them. They're made of milk glass. Um, one of the corks got messed up, and I had to throw it away. So I think I got these for, like, seven, which, you know, for an antique shop, that's a lot. But what I bought with them, I was fine paying the seven because they got paid for anyway. I believe these were promotional giveaways in, like, the 30s or the 40s. I just thought they were really cool and that they still have the original stickers on them after all these years. Very, very interesting. From that same vendor mall, but at a different time, I also got these really cool Commodore Piggy salt and pepper shakers. Look at them. Aren't they just cute? Now, let me see if I can get the stamp to show you. Yep. So there is the Commodore stamp there. And I think these were about $6.95 and 20%. Now, this isn't all of the salt and pepper shakers that I have. Uh, I think there's like one set that I wasn't able to find, but the mass majority of them I have sitting right in front of me here. Now this unfortunately was a single shaker. This is the Hand Flame, the Handy Flame. I got him at this really interesting like combo mix of like uh, modern primitive stuff and uh, they had a couple of vintage pieces mixed in here or there. They had the spoon rest for the heat flame or the handy flame for $2.99. Uh, but this was $2.99, sorry. But they had the spoon rest for $19.99. I was like, I'm not paying $20 for a spoon rest. I've seen um, Alex Chapter 2 Vintage Co. pick these up. And I think Comfy Cozy Living also picked up a set of these. And I loved them and I was really happy to find just the one for three. Now some of these may look familiar. I have posted them to Instagram. These I really, really like, the um, Inesco Peacocks in the green and blue, tie-dye-esque. And they do have their Inesco stickers on there. Again, the colors on this are fantastic, hence the reason why I said I'm not letting go of these. Now, I will buy salt and pepper shakers for live sales if they're not, like, something I particularly like. Um, I did sell a bunch of them at one sale because I went through a bunch of my stuff like I usually do. See, when I find something, I will say, oh, I really like this. I'll hold on to it for a while. And once I rummage through things, I'm like, oh, that was cool to find, but I think I'm going to try selling it. And that's just kind of how my process is. Because I don't want to be a hoarder because I do have a lot of stuff. 
And I do periodically get rid of it. Like, I don't just keep everything. I gotta sell some stuff. Now, I do have some saucy ones here. And unfortunately, the other day, I broke one of the girls on the barrel. These are a little too risque. I apologize. So if you have kids in the room. So we got the barrel girls, and I paid a dollar for these at an antique mall. I think they were originally 10 but the booth was moving out, so they had discounted everything to, like, really inexpensively. So they sat there for a while, and then once the booth was going out, I went ahead and just scooped up everything that they had. And I made some pretty good money. These are marked Japan. Can I focus? And one of them has a necklace on. Is this not focusing for you all? I apologize. But yeah, you get the picture. They're saucy. And this is the one where the head got broken off. But, I mean, kind of can't tell, but you kind of can. Oh, well, that's what happens with vintage. I, I mean, they stayed intact all these years, and then they came home with me, and then they got ruined. What does that tell you? Speaking of saucy salt and pepper shakers, these are probably the funniest ones that I had. I remember Michelle at Thrifting 101, ooh, that's not showing these very well at all now, is it? Had picked a set of these up. They're called Torpedo Salt and Pepper Shakers, as far as, far as I know. And I thought they were hilarious. They are phallic looking in nature. Hence the reason why I had to scoop them up for $4. I remember the day that I bought these. I literally forgot to grab a basket at one of the malls. And I ran everything up that I had had in my hands because I was I couldn't carry it all anymore. And I quickly walked away after setting these on the counter because like, nope, I'm not having a conversation with the old lady behind the counter about these because they do look very interesting. And they're not marked on the bottom, but they are Hazel Atlas fired on paint. Yeah, there's no marking on them. They made these in a variety of different colors. I've seen them with um, red tops, and then there's like a striped pattern on them. Like, there were so many of them that were made, but these ones are by far the naughtiest looking ones. I found these at an antique mall, and I think I paid like 85 cents for them. They're the outhouses. Every time I see these, I think of Mary from Reclaim Treasures by Mary, because she collects outhouse stuff. And... Had I known uh, about these ahead of time, or had I gotten them prior to when Thrifting Adventures had gotten them, I would have sent her these because these are hilarious. Because salt and pepper, S&P, don't exactly uh, just stand for salt and pepper. I'm full of P, I'm full of the other words. But those are fun. They are missing the bottoms, but that's okay because these are just for display anyway. Again, I bought these a long time ago. They're made in Japan. I love them. They are lemons. Look at their faces. Looks like they ate a lemon or they're just horrified at what they just looked at. Uh, this one, oh, no, this one, sorry. Oh, Lord, I can't do this. It's made in Japan. And they're fun. I think I paid like $1.50 for these. I've had these guys for quite a while. Uh, they're made by Norcrest, Japan. Smokey the Bear. Look at them. I think they're real fun. Now here is the Norcrest. Oh, that just completely went out of focus now, didn't it? Sometimes these webcams, no matter how good a quality they are, they don't like to focus real well. But yes, there's the Norcrest sticker. I got these at a, most of these came from an antique store, I should probably stop saying that. Salty and Peppy are really popular in our little community, but when I saw these for seven bucks, and I'd never seen the cats before, I knew I had to have them. I just think they're really fun. Now, this looks like hot glue, like the little swirl patterns on them, and one of them is missing off the top of the white cat's head, but that's all right. Vintage can't be perfect. I think they have googly eyes. Yep, their squeakers, unfortunately, do not work anymore. But they are still cute.
I got these when I went thrifting with Cindy from Mimi's Treasure Cottage. There's some spaghetti, Santa and Mrs. Claus. Um, she has her Japan sticker. So these were originally $7, but they were 30% off. So I got them for, what is that? Like $4 and some change. I've seen these at other malls and they want like $30 for them. So that's a little insane. I would never spend $30. Unless they were something really rare and unusual. But I thought those were fun for the holiday season. Not to use, of course, to display. Every time I see these whales, I think of uh, Jeffrey and Barb. Because I think they found a set at one of the markets they went to like a few years ago, right before all this stuff happened. They do have a sticker on the bottom that says, a quality product, Japan. Let's see if that'll show up. I guess it won't, but yep, there it is. A quality product, Japan. I think I got these for like $4 or something like that. They're just fun. Now these are made by Inesco. It's George Washington and Betsy Ross. Bill of Rights, they are marked UNESCO on the bottom, probably from the 50s, I would think. Is that going to focus or not? No, probably not. Usually doesn't when I want it to. But you get the picture. And there is a napkin holder that goes with these that I have sitting downstairs. And also they made um, like, measure, like a measuring spoon holder, plastic measuring spoons that go in a ceramic holder. They make those. I've seen that at Betsy Ross before. Getting down to the last few sets here, I've got Willie and Millie, uh, made by the same company who issued Aunt Jemima and Uncle Remus. Not Uncle Remus, Uncle Moses. My goodness, why do I keep thinking of Uncle Remus? Probably because I watched Big Daddy recently. And these were made, if I'm not mistaken, they're made by the F&F &F Plastics Company. And I believe Willie and Millie were the mascots for cool cigarettes, if I'm not mistaken. There's Millie and there's Willie. They're, these are not worth a lot of money, but hey, they're still cool, right? And just because something's not worth a lot of money does not mean it's not cool. And the last set we're going to be looking at are these really cool anthropomorphic watermelons, winking watermelons. And these are both marked Japan. I got these at an antique mall, I think, for like five bucks. And originally, I was going to sell them, but then I was like, I don't think I can because they're just too cute. So that is my salt and pepper shaker collection. Let me know in the comments below what's your favorite set that I have or your favorite sets that I have. Be sure and give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure and hit that bell next to the subscribe button to get notified when new videos are uploaded. Be sure and check me out on Instagram. I post pictures of items to come in future haul videos. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all soon. Bye, guys.